Well, surprised to be uh, first on, but uh, I am prepared. And uh, I'm going to sing um, a song that I got from Harry Cox. It's called The Greasy Cook. I fell in love with a greasy cook, and that I can't deny. I fell in love with a greasy cook, and I'll tell you the reason why. I'll tell you the reason why. Plum pudding, roast beef for plenty. Plum pudding and roast beef. Oh, when my belly was empty, she gave to me relief. She gave to me relief. I kindly was invited, some supper for to take, and kindly I did accept. It, or for my stomach sank, or for my stomach sank. Now after supper was over, the cupboard she took some keys. One pocket she crammed with butter, and the other she crammed with cheese. The other she crammed with cheese. Her master, smelling of the cheese, came rat tat out of the door. I had nowhere to hide my face, but up the chimney crawl, but up the chimney crawl. I hadn't been there very long, a sitting at my ease. The fire mounted my butter, and likewise touched me cheese, and likewise touched me cheese. Every drop that fell in the fire, it caused the old fire to roar. The old woman looked up the chimney top, and she swore the old devil was there. She swore the old devil was there. Her master went to the chimney top, a bucket of water let fall, and I came following after me butter and cheese and all, me butter and cheese and all. Oh, the dogs did bark and the children screamed, up flew the windows all. The old woman cried out, well done, well done, there goes butter and cheese and all, there goes butter and cheese and all. The Greasy Cook from Harry Cox. <laughs> Great start to the evening, Tim. Thanks for that. Um, we are off now with Tar to, to France with Tara. And after Tara, could we have Steve Suffolk, please? Okay, that kind of reminded me of a MacLed song, but I won't. <laughs> but great singing, Tim. Um, I'm gonna try something completely new. I don't know if it's gonna work. So if it fails miserably, I'm sorry. But if it works, yay! Okay, let's try it. Uh, and you can see if you can recognise who this is, if I can find it and make it work. Let's let's go. Black is the colour of my true love's hair. Her lips are light, her are oh so fair. The sweetest face and the gentlest hand. I love the ground whereon she stands. I love my love, and well she knows. I love the ground whereon she goes, and how I wish the day would come. And she and I will be as one. Black is the colour of my true love's hair. Her lips are light, her rose so fair. The sweetest face and the gentlest hand. I love the ground whereon she stands. I go to the Clyde for the morning wave. But satisfied, I never could sleep. I write her a letter, just a few short lines. I'll suffer death. Ten thousand times Black is the colour Of my true love's hair 
her lips alight, the rose so fair, the sweetest face, and the gentlest hands. I love the ground whereon she stands. I love the ground whereon she stands. Thank you. Oh, was that, guys? It was oh, voice. It? Yeah. It was Powell, well done, Sheila. <laughs> Thank you. And I typed that in before Pal owned up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Pal. We didn't know I was going to do this until tonight. <laughs> Thanks, uh, thanks, Tara. We love innovation, and uh, yeah, we love hearing you and Paul. So great combination. Um, do it again in real life, though. Okay, um, Steve Suffet is next, and then we will have Charles West, please. I've never done this one before. I will try it. I hope I have the right key. And it's one kind favor asking you. And it's one kind favor asking you. And it's one kind favor I ask of you. Please see my grave. It is kept clean. Blind Lemon Jefferson around 1927. Let's try that again. And it's one kind favor asking you. And it's one kind favor asking you. And it's one kind favor I ask of you. Please see my grave, it is kept clean. It's a very long song. I will not do all the verses. I'll just do a few of them. Have you ever heard that coffin sound? Have you ever heard that coffin sound? Have you ever heard that coffin sound? No, another boy, he's in the ground. Can you ever hear that church bell toll? Can you ever hear that church bell toll? Did you ever hear that church bell toll? No, another boy, he's lying cold. Will your heart stop beating and your hands turn cold? Will your heart stop beating and your hands turn cold? Your heart stops beating and your hands turn cold. Do believe what the Bible told? And it's two white horses in a line. And it's two white horses in a line. It's two white horses in a line. Takes you to your burying ground. Well, it's a long old road without an end. Well, it's a long old road without an end. It's a long old road without an end. It's a long, long way without a turn. Will you dig my grave with a silver spade? Will you dig my grave with a silver spade? Will you dig my grave with a silver spade? Just be sure the diggers paid. And it's one kind favor I ask of you. And it's one kind favor I ask of you. And it's one kind favor I ask of you. Please see my grave. It is kept clean. One kind favor by Blind Lemon Jefferson.
Happy to oblige, Steve, but to, I hope it's not for a long, long time. <laughs> OK, um, it's time now for Charles West. And then could we hear from Graham Baldwin, please? OK, I'm going to uh, to attempt a little bit of deplorable Canadiana for the group today. This uh, this is a fiddle tune that uh, that has words to it, and no one wants to take credit for the words. But the fiddle tune, uh, I'll put in the in the in the in the chat. And this is called uh, "Whiskey Before Breakfast." Now, early one day, the sun would shine. I was walking down the street, not feeling too fine. Two old men with a bottle between them, and this is a song that I heard them singing. Lord, preserve us and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. Sure, that didn't work, did it? Well, I stopped by the steps where they were sitting, and I couldn't believe how drunk they was getting. I said, old oh, man, you've been drinking long. They said, just long enough to be singing this song. Lord, preserve us and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. See, it comes in the second verse. Well, I passed me the bottle and I took a little sip. And it felt so good I just could not quit. I drank some more. Next thing I knew, there was, there was three of us sitting there singing this tune. Lord, preserve us and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. So one by one, everybody in the town, they heard our ruckus and they all come down. Pretty soon all the streets were ringing with the sound of the whole town laughing and singing. Lord, preserve us and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. part of a balanced diet obviously thanks charles fun um okay it's time now for graham baldwin and then tonight's muter in the form of david kidman well as uh, as tim says it's all the overseas folks up front so uh, but i'm gonna i'm gonna finish that run by the sounds of it david kidman's obviously a local there um so it may is here so here's a seasonal song from Martin Gray, which you probably know. Now winter is over, I'm happy to say, and we'll all meet again in our ribbons so gay. And we'll all meet again to rejoice in the spring, to go about dancing. Jack in the green, Jack in the green, Jack in the green, and we'll all dance in springtime with Jack in the green. Now Jack in the green is a very strange man, though he dies every autumn he's born every spring and each year on his birthday we will dance through the street and in return jack will ripen and will we jack in the green jack in the green and we'll all dance each springtime with jack in the green I'll have you beware of touching young Jack for the strange powers there. 
For if you but touch him, as many will tell. Like the wheat in our fields, so your belly will swell. Jack in the green, Jack in the green. I will all dance in springtime with Jack in the green. With his mantle, he'll cover the trees that are bare. And our gardens he'll trim with his jacket so rare. But our fields he will sow with the hair of his head. And the grain it will ripen till old Jack is dead. Jack in the green, Jack in the green. And we'll all dance in springtime with Jack in the green. Sun is half up, it betokens the hour that the children arrive with their garlands of flowers. So now let the music and the dancing begin and touch the good heart of young Jack in the green. Jack in the green, Jack in the green. And we'll all dance in springtime with Jack in the Green. Jack in the Green, Jack in the Green. And we'll all dance in springtime with Jack in the Green. Jack in the Green, Mark is right. Good dose of paganism there. Thanks for that of a springtime. Okay, over now to David Kidman. David, please unmute thyself, and um, you'll be, you'll be followed by Jean and Phil. Right, uh, following paganism with humanism. How's that? We all like isms, don't we? Um, I'm going through the Kipling Bellamy repertoire at the moment. Uh, I've got a really good one lined up for another week, but this one is a um, fairly recent in Kipling Bellamy terms. It's a Pilgrim's Way. I do not look for holy saints to guide me on my way. Or male and female devilkins to lead my feet astray. If these are added, I rejoice. If not, then I shall not mind. So long as I have leave and choice to meet my fellow kind. For as we come and as we go, and deadly soon go we, the people, Lord, thy people, are good enough for me. Thus will I honour pious men whose virtue shines so bright, though none are more amazed than I when I by chance do write. And I will pity foolish men, for woe their sins have bred. Though ninety-nine per cent of mine I brought on my own head, and am or right, or error might, or general average. The people, Lord, thy people, are good enough for me. And when they bore me over much, I will not shake mine ears, recalling many thousand such whom I have bored to tears. 
And when they labour to impress, I will not doubt nor scoff, since I myself have done no less and sometimes pulled it off. Yes, we as we are and as we are not, and we pretend to be the people, Lord, thy people are good enough for me. And when they work me random wrong, as often times hath been, I will not cherish hate too long, my hands are none too clean. And when they do me random good, I will not feign surprise. No more than those whom I have cheered with wayside courtesies. But as we give and as we take, whate'er our takings be, the people, Lord, thy people, are good enough for me. But when I meet with frantic folk who sinfully declare There is no pardon for their sin, the same I will not spare Till I have proved that heaven and hell, which in our hearts we have, show nothing irredeemable Deemable on either side the grave. For as we live and as we die, if utter death there be, the people, Lord, thy people, are good enough for me. Deliver me from every pride the middle high and low that bars me from my brother's side whatever pride he show and purge from me all heresies of thought and speech and pen that bid me judge him Otherwise than I am judged, Amen. That I may sing of crowd and king, Or road-born company, That I may labour in my day, Vocation and decree, to prove the same in deed and name, and hold unshakenly. Where'er I go, whate'er I know, whoe'er my neighbour be, this single faith in life and death, and to eternity. The people, Lord, Good people are good enough for me. <coughs> Thanks, David. That was good enough for us as well. Um, so, yeah, good song. Okay, over now to Jeanne and Phil Revno, and after they have performed for us, could we have Stacey Roth? Thanks, Amanda. This, the Merry Month of May, gets a brief um, appearance in this song, um, but you have to know the alphabet to pick it out, so that might be a big ask. Hey, as far as I walked out, as all good songs begin. B is for brave boys, the bit the audience joins in. C is for the cabin boy with pretty shape and curl. And D the drummer likewise, who turns out to be a girl. E is for the ethnic stance with and round mug of beer. F 
is for the finger what you sticks into your ear. G is for the garter which often comes undone. And H is for the hay where you untie it which is fun. I is the Irish idiot who isn't such a dunce. J is no John, no John, no. Well, maybe just this once. K is for the knave who took a knife and killed his sister. His mother, his father, his seven brothers, his horses, orc, his fets, all in 47 verses and an assortment of keys. And day is where he's going, but a burn and bake and blister. M is the merry month of May, when youthful blood runs hot. N is nine months later, when you wish that it had not. O's the grand old Opry where country songs are best. And P is Dolly Parton, who is noted for her b b backing group. <laughs> Q is found at festivals outside the ladies' loo. R is for real Elmy boys, responsible for Q. S is for the Scottish air sung sweetly for the gleaning. And T is for wild mountain time, which has a double meaning. U is an accompanied song, a very great appraisal. V is for the vowel sounds, which should preferably be nasal. W's the wife who took a tumble with the groom. And X is what her husband says on entering the room. Wise you good people all, we hope you've not been bored. And Z is for the zeal with which we hope you might applaud. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? I hope the applause was zealous enough for you. Thank you for um, taking us through the rest of the evening. I think we can all go home now. Oh, we are already. Okay. Um, over to Stacy. And uh, after Stacy, could we have something from Dave Mason, please? All right, that was a wonderful song. Uh, it's tough to follow that. But in honor of our upcoming holiday of Mother's Day, which is this weekend, this Sunday, uh, a, a song by Jimmy Rogers. I had a home down in Texas, down where the blue bonnet grew. I had the kindest old mother how happy we were just we two then one day the angels called her said death we'd all have to pay she pulled me close to her bedside these last few words to say she said son don't start drinking and gambling Promise you'll always go straight. Ten years have passed since that parting. That promise I broke by mistake. I started in gambling for pastime. At last I was just like them all. I bet my clothes and my money not dreaming that I'd ever fall. One day I bet all my money, nothing was left to be seen, and all that I needed to beat them was one card, and that was a queen. The cards were dealt all round the table, each one took a cut in the draw. I drew the one that would beat them. I turned it, and here's what I saw. I saw my mother's picture, and somehow she seemed to say, Son, you have broken your promise. So I toss the cards all away. My winnings I gave to the newsboy. I knew I was wrong from the start. 
And I'll never forget my promise to my mother, the queen of my heart. No, I'll never forget my promise to my mother, the queen of my heart. Great storytelling, Stacey. Thank you. Yeah, and nothing like a bit of schmaltz. Um, <laughs> okay, over to Dave Mason in Ohio, where it is 22 degrees. And uh, after Dave, could we have Kathy Dent, please? I don't know if that was 22 degrees centigrade or Fahrenheit, actually. It makes a big difference. Centigrade. Yeah. And it's about 85% uh, humidity as well. So it's uh, yeah, getting there. We're just waiting for the cicadas to come out now. Oh, yeah. um, so I've been living in the United States here for the last six years. We'll be moving back to the UK next month. And uh, it's gonna be a bit of a shock, I think. And um, this is a song I wrote a, a few years back after watching a local singer-songwriter from Ohio, a young lady by the name of Megan B, perform here in Cincinnati. And it's a little song called My Reverie. Oh, hush my soul She's painting daydreams Yellows, reds and gold and lilac moonbeams She speaks to me So innocent and so carefree How can it be? I close my eyes yet I can see her fantasy A fantasy Moments in time Uncomplicated Just one fishing line now I'm captivated She fills my mind With memories long left behind Is she some kind Of mystic creature sent To find my reverie webs tonight of life in between the interludes of black and white you let me see the colors of the setting sun the cotton wood tree Set it free You 
set me free So my reverie, thank you very much. Excellent. Good to have you back with us, Dave, and hoping that when you're back in the UK, you will be able to bring that kind of song to Sharps every now and then if you Sharp are dancer. within shouting distance. Okay. Um, over now to Kathy Dent, and after Kathy, could we have something from another Sharps regular, Martin Nail? Okie dokie. Um, I might do a little bit of uh, fiddling about with the the uh, the date in this one to get the Amanda McLean Calendrical Consistency Award. All on this pleasant morning together come are we To tell you of the blossom that hangs on every tree We have stayed up all evening to welcome in the day Good people all both great and small It is the 4th of May, the 4th of May Oh rise up Mr Wilbraham all joys to you betide, your horse is ready saddled, a hunting for to ride. Your saddle is of silver, your bridle of the gold. Your wife shall ride beside you, so comely to behold. Good people, all both great and small, it is the 4th of May, the 4th of May. Oh, rise up, Mr. Edgerton, and take your pen in hand, for you're a learned scholar, as we do understand. Rise up, Mrs. Stockton, put on your rich attire, for every hair upon your head shines like the silver wire. Good people, all both great and small, it is the 4th of May, the 4th of May. Rise up the master of this house, put on your chain of gold. Turn unto your loving wife, so comely to behold. Rise up the mistress of this house, with gold upon your breast. If your body be asleep, we hope your soul's at rest. Good people, all but great and small, it is the 4th of May, the 4th of May. Oh, rise up the good housekeeper, put on your clothes of silk. We hope you have a husband good and plenty, 20 cows of milk. But where are all the pretty maids that live next door to you? Why, they have gone to bathe themselves all in the morning dew. Good people, all but great and small, it is the 4th of May, the 4th of May. God bless your house and harbour, your riches and your store. We hope the Lord will prosper you both now and evermore. For now we're going to leave you in peace and plenty here. We shall not sing this song again until another year good people all both great and small it is the fourth of may the fourth of may cheshire may day carol you win kathy i give up you win <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good stuff. Okay, over now Let's to Martin. Over now to Martin. And after Martin, Sheila Miller will take the floor. Where is she going to take it to? That's the question. <clears throat> hmm. 
Digging graves is my delight, a digging graves for you to lie in. Digging graves from morn till night, I earn me living from the dying. Digging graves the whole day long, and as I dig, I sing this song to anybody that comes along. Dust to dust and ashes to ashes, and so I begins my song. Rich and poor all come the same, I'll bury you all, there's none has favour. Don't spend your time in seeking gain, no gold from death will ever save you. Mighty men with wealth and riches, beggars too in rags and stitches, all end up in the wooden breeches, dust to dust and ashes to ashes. And so my song goes on. Some we bury with foul diseases, some will die still young and pretty. Death will take just who it pleases, for in death there is no pity. Mangled men <coughs> with sightless eyes, Babes in arms and maids likewise, fit or foolish, weak or wise, dust to dust and ashes to ashes, and thus my song goes on. You might be dancing in the street, you might be gay, you might be grieving. You might be singing a song so sweet, but you'll not cheat death, there's no deceiving. In the parlour or in the hall, whether you run or whether you crawl, death could come any time at all. Dust to dust and ashes to ashes, and so I sing my song. Death come early, death come late, it takes us all, there is no reason. For every purpose under heaven, to each a time, to each a season. A time to love and a time to cry, a time to laugh and a time to sigh, a time to be born and a time to die. Dust to dust and ashes to ashes, and so I end my song. All the misery that we would normally spread out over the, over the evening condensed into that single song. <laughs> okay, um, Sheila is next, and after Sheila, could we have something from Riggy, please? Um, this is sort of an experiment. I have sung this song lots of times, but only ever with a large crowd of people. I've never sung it on my own, so... Um, <coughs> may or may not work. <coughs> there are bits to join in with. Uh, I'll hope you'll be joining in even though I can't hear you. Ooh. And uh, I hope this will be the right note. <coughs> oh, I'm not going to sing all the, all the verses because it has a lot and it's three days late. Like Kathy's song, in fact. Oh, now I've forgotten the note, that was clever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
hmm, somewhere down there. Unite and unite and let us all unite for summer is a coming today and whether we are going we will all unite in the merry morning of May. Rise up Miss McLean Oh, I know you well and fine, for summer is a common today. You have a shilling in your purse, and I wish it were in mine in the merry morning of May. <coughs> Sorry. Rise up, Mr. White, all out of your bed, for summer is a common today. Your chamber shall be strewn with the white rose and the red in the merry morning of May. Where are those young men that now here should dance? For summer is a common today. Oh, some they, oh, some they are in England, and some they are in France in the merry morning of May. Where are those maidens that now here should sing? For summer is a coming today. They are in the meadows, the flowers gathering in the merry morning of May. Oh, where is St. George? Oh, where is he? He is out in his longboat. All on the salt sea, oh, up flies the kite, down falls the lark, and Ursula Burdud, she had an old ewe, and she died in her own park, oh. The young men of Padstow they might, if they would, for summer is a common today. They might have built a ship and gilded her with gold in the merry morning of May. The young women of Padstow they might, if they would, for summer is a common today. They might have made a garland with the white rose and the red in the morn merry morning of May. Ooh, uh, that was the next verse. Oh, hang on, I've forgotten it. With the merry ring. With the merry ring, all oh, hail the joyful spring, for summer is a common today. How happy are those little birds, and the merrier we will sing in the merry morning of May. Now fare you well, and bid you all good cheer, for summer is a common today. We'll call no more unto you before another year in the merry morning of May. It's not the same without the drums, really. Osos! We are! <laughs> Lovely stuff, <laughs> Sheila. Um, that is uh, quite an a, a extraordinary song, actually. It's got so many bits. Yeah, well it's, it, really, it. it really needs to be sung by loads of people. Mm. In ideally in Padstow on a sunny day, which you sometimes yeah. get and sometimes don't. Yeah. Also, it'd be good if summer was actually coming in. It seems <laughs> to be it's, it's delayed yes. somewhat. <laughs> It doesn't feel that way. No. Okay, over now to Riggy and I'll sing after Riggy. Oh, so I remuted, re unmuted. Thank you, David, for doing your job. Uh, 
time uh, to uh, appreciate and hopefully uh, un understand a little better the Wiccan theme. Here's a uh, piece by Thomas Campion from 1585 that uh, has a lot of magic in it. There's a whole uh, problem here in California called Sudden Oak Death. And they discovered uh, sort of like uh, uh, coincidentally that tossing oak ashes around the forest prevents sudden oak death. So Thomas Campion knew this 500 years ago. Thrice toss these oaken ashes in the air. Thrice it thou mute in this enchanted chair, and thrice three times tie up this true love's knot, and murmur softly she will, or she will not, and thrice three times tie up this true love's knot, and murmur softly she will, or she will not. Go burn these poisonous weeds in young blue fire, these screech owl feathers and this prickling briar. This cypress gathered at a dead man's grave, that all my fears and cares an end may have. This cypress gathered at a dead man's grave, that all my cares and fears an end may have. Then come you fairies, dance with me around. Melt her hard heart with your melodious sound. In vain is all the charms I can devise. She hath an art to break them with her eyes. In vain are all the charms I can devise. She hath an art to break them with her eyes. Thomas Campion. Love you, Ricky. Thanks, Riggy. Um, some good uh, <clears throat> pagan undertones or possibly overtones with that one as well. Okay, uh, Marty. Those were mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marty Stock, if you could sing after me, um, I will. Uh, I will sing now. So this is my other May song. I sang one last week, so this is. Uh, I'm rolling it out for actual May this week. Um, and it's uh, probably one of the first folk songs that I that I learned when I lived up in the Highlands and uh, discovered that this there was this thing happening traditional music. <clears throat> As I roved out on a bright May morn, calm and clear was the weather. I chanced to roam some miles from home among the beautiful bloom and heather, and there's heather on the moor, over the heather, over the moor, and among the heather. I chanced to roam some miles from home among the beautiful bloom and heather, and there's heather on the moor. As I roved along with my hunting song, my heart as light as any feather. I met a pretty maid upon the way, she was tripping the dew down from the heather, and there's heather on the moor, over the heather, over the moor, and among the heather. I met a pretty maid upon the way, she was tripping the dew down from the heather, and there's heather on the moor. Oh, where are you going to, my pretty fair maid, the hill or the dale, come tell me either. 
Right modestly she answered me to the feeding of me lambs together, and there's heather on the moor, over the heather, over the moor, and among the heather. Right modestly she answered me to the feeding of me lambs together, and there's heather on the moor. Well, we both shook hands, and down we sat, for it being the finest day in summer. And we sat till the red setting beams of the sun came sparkling down among the heather, and there's heather on the moor, over the heather, over the moor, and among the heather. We sat till the red setting beams of the sun came sparkling down among the heather, and there's heather on the moor. Now she says I must away, for me sheep and lambs have strayed from hunger. But I am loath to leave you now, as those fond lambs are to part from their mother, and there's heather on the moor, over the heather, over the moor, and among the heather. But I am loath to leave you now, as those fond lambs are to part from their mother, and there's heather on the moor. Up she gets, and away she goes, her name and place I know not either. But if I were king, I'd make her queen, the lass I met among the heather, and there's heather on the moor, over the heather, over the moor, and among the heather. If I were king, I'd make her queen, the lass I met among the heather, and there's heather on the moor. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, over now to Marty Stock, and after Marty, let's hear from John White. All right. This is a song that was probably written as a memorial to two brothers who were lost in one of the wars, like the Persian Gulf War, from a small Midwestern town. But it's uh, it's taken on a kind of wider meaning after this past year. So. <clears throat> it was lovely in the spring, all the flowers were in bloom, and we met beside the shore for a moment. There were birds and there were planes, flying patterns all around, and we shared a single sound for a moment. If the Riley boys were here, they would tell us all was well, not to cry and not to worry for tomorrow. If the Riley boys were here, this would be a joyous fear. Oops. I'm sorry, someone said I have a noise problem, is there? Yeah, you some... do actually have a lot of crackling, Marty. I'm not sure what on earth would be causing that. Oh, gosh. I need to waste the song on that. Um... Do you have any device, other devices nearby or anything like that? Oh, let's see. I'll put my phone near the mic. How's that? No? Maybe I'll log off, come back on. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll, I'll call you later on. Um, and hopefully your, your noise phone will go away. Um... Okay, in that case, it's time for John White, and after John, Pete and Maggie, please. But money was so short, people, people couldn't afford to call in a painter and decorator, and it's a case of do-it-yourself and all its hazards. And so this is uh, the story of uh, when Father paper the parlour. Our parlour wanted paper in and Pa said it was waste. Took all the paper hangers in and so we made some paste. He got some rolls of paper with a ladder and a brush. And with me mother's nightie on, at it he made a rush. When father tapered the parlour, you couldn't see par for paste. A dabbing it here, a dabbing it there, paste and paper everywhere. Mother was stuck to the ceiling, the kids were stuck to the floor. You've never seen a blooming family so stuck up before. The pattern was blue roses with the leaves red, white and brown. 
Pass suck it wrong way up, and now we all walk upside down. And when he trimmed the edging off the paper with the shears, the cat got underneath it, and that just missed both his ears. When father papered the parlour, you couldn't see path a paste. A dabbing it here, a dabbing it there, paste and paper everywhere. Mother was stuck to the ceiling, the kids were stuck to the floor. You've never seen a blooming family so stuck up before. Soon, Pa fell down the stairs and dropped his paper and his can on little Henrietta sitting there with a young man. The pace struck them together as we thought it would be for life. We had to call the parson in to make them man and wife. We're never going to move away from that house anymore. For father's been and stuck the same chairs and tables to the floor. We can't find our piano, though it's broad and rather tall. We think that it's behind the paper pa stuck on the wall. When father patent the paper the parlor, you couldn't see pa for paste. A dabbing it here, a dabbing it there, paste and paper everywhere. Mother was stuck to the ceiling, the kids were stuck to the floor. You've never seen a family so stuck up before. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yay. Yay. Well done. Beautiful. Good one, John. John. Uh -huh. Great, great stuff, stuff as ever. Are some people still, still on music? Yes. yes. Um, okay, I think most people, yeah, okay, that's, that's better. What a relief. Um, John, thank you very much. Lots of fun. Great stuff. Um, okay, um, over now to Pete and Maggie, and then could we hear from Wendy Lanchin? Thank you. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Traditional story, traditional song, tune, they hadn't been introduced before. Oh, you mixed me up and you rolled me out, and it got so hot that I started to shout. Please don't think me an ingrate If I won't lie still on your plate Run, run, fast as you can You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man Run, run, fast as you can Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man I ran from my baker, dad and mum They called me back, but I would not come I'm leaving home and I will not fail Got half the village on my tail Run, run, fast as you can can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I run from the old and the young ones too, and a horse and a cow and I'll run from you. I'll run from my life and I'm running free, and I'll dare you to catch up with me. Run, run, fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. No one ever asked of me if a biscuit's what I wanted to be. I'll be a giant when I've grown some. Come back here and eat everyone. Run, run, fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I'm taking charge, I'm my own boss, and I'm fine till I've got the river to cross. I'll make new friends and I gotta shift, cause that fox is giving me a lift. Run, run, fast as you can, can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I'll get across and I'll run some more, while you all holler from the shore. I'm running wild and I'll run amok. And I'll run till I've run out of luck. Run, run, fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man.
Thank you both. Uh, lots of fun again. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure I've heard that. Know the story? I'm not sure I've heard the song. So thank you. Okay, um, Wendy Lanchin is our next singer. And then let's hear from Clive Wolf. Okay, um, this is, it's obviously the night for duets. Um, this is a virtual one um, with Simon helping out again. Uh, so this is uh, Simon and me. Did you ever wake up with your good man on your mind? Did you ever wake up with your good man on your mind? My baby left this morning, that's why I moan and cry. He'll make you laugh, he'll make you cry, drive those blues away. You'll sit right down and weep and moan, and then you'll finally say, I've been wondering where my jelly bean has gone. I could see that man I lost a thousand miles away and I still remember what my baby had to say He said, see, see, right today I'm going away, and I won't be Wonderful um, and uh, great to hear another duet and looking forward to hearing you doing that in real life in the not too distant future. Um, okay, over to Clive now and after Clive, let's give Marty Stock another go um, if Marty's all right with that. So Clive, you first. Are you there, Clive? Oh. Clive. Are you with yes, us? Okay, can hear you now. 
I can see only your jumper. You can. Yes. Oh, right. I thought I'd sing a song uh, that I haven't done since I used to play guitar. And so uh, that's hundreds of years ago. So you won't have heard it. Uh, dear, are you ready? Here we go then. Three, five, one, nine. It's average. It. Try again, Clive. It's average farmer in Cheshire. To the market, his daughter would go. Not thinking that any should harm her. She'd been that way off times before. She was met by a ruffian robber. That caused the young woman to stand. Your money and gold now deliver. Or else your sweet life is at hand. When he stripped his fair damsel stark naked and he gave her his bridle to hold. She stood there a shivering and shaking, near starving to death with the cold. But she put her left foot in the stirrup and she mounted the horse like a man. Over hedges and ditches she galloped, crying, catch me, bold rogue, if you can. Well, the bold rogue soon followed after, which caused him to puff and to blow. Thank God that he never did catch her till she came to her father's own door. Oh, daughter, dear daughter, what's happened? Oh, father, to you I will tell. I was met by a ruffian robber. Thank God he has done me no harm. Put the grey mare into the stable and spread the white sheet on the floor. She stood there accounting the money. She counted 5,000 or more. 5,000 pounds is a big fortune. Dear daughter, I'll give you five more. 10,000 pounds is a big fortune to keep the wild wolf from the door. And now she's a lady of honor and she in a carriage does ride with servants to wait and to pardon her and a footman to ride by her side. End. Thanks, Clive. An excellent story, although not necessarily 100% true, but we don't care. Um, okay, Marty Stock, let's see if your crackle has gone away. Um, do you want us to tell you if it is still there? Yes, please. How does okay. it sound now? Uh, there's a bit <laughs> of it. It Gosh. might... Yeah, let's give it a shot. Um, hopefully okay. it will be all right. And after Marty, let's hear from Simon Prager. <clears throat> so again, this is a memorial song written for two boys in the Midwest. It was lovely in the spring, all the flowers were in bloom, and we met beside the shore for a moment. There Marty, I'm really sorry, it's, it's still there. So oh, it's a shame. Let's see, what if yeah. I unpick this? How does that sound? Uh, try, keep speaking. How's this? Oh, that's better. Don't know what you did, but keep doing it. I'll unplug my fancy microphone and I'm just using that. <laughs> well, we'll give it a go. Okay, go for it. Or, How about crackling again? That sounds much better now. Okay. Should I start again? <laughs> <laughs> this is very awkward. It was lovely in the spring. All the flowers were in bloom. And we met beside the shore for a moment. There were birds and there were planes, flying patterns all around. And we shared a single sound for a moment. If the Riley boys were here, they would tell us all was well. Not to cry and not to worry for tomorrow. If the Riley boys were here, this would be a joyous tear instead of one for mercy and for sorrow. 
If it's quiet in the street, it is not for want of feet that would march if they could only find the way. If the halo round the light on this quiet street tonight saw the hearts that wander by, they would be crying. If the Riley boys were here, they would surely take our hands and remind us that on earth our days are fleeting. If the Riley boys were here and their gentle voices near, they'd remind us all that some day we'll be meeting. It's so hard to read the news and so beautiful outside. And the world that seemed so wide now seems so broken. All the things we love and keep in our dreams and in our sleep. Startled birds that we have suddenly awoken. If the Riley boys were here, they would tell us not to cry. Dry your eyes, they'd say, there's work to do tomorrow. If the Riley boys were here, we'd hold fast another year and be thankful for what mercy we could borrow. And be thankful for what mercy we could borrow. Oh, that was fun. Lovely. Hey, Marty. Hey. <laughs> Carol Denny, whom I'm told is quite a thing in Berkeley by Riggy. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. I'm glad we got to hear that without uh, special effects. It's always difficult as MC to know when to interrupt and when to let it go. Um, so thanks to whoever um, uh, alerted Marty to that. OK, um, it's over to Simon Prager now. And after Simon, could we have Kate Portal? OK, this is a uh, this is a Yiddish song written by I think probably my favourite Yiddish writer. I, I don't know that much about Yiddish. I'm learning. I didn't grow up with it. Um, my father used to speak English and German, not Yiddish. Well, occasionally he had a he had one Yiddish phrase he would use, which was, uh, if you asked you for help and you offered him advice, he would say, mit eitz ist bin ich versorgt, which means, I'm up to here with advice. Which <laughs> is one of my favourite. Anyway, this is written by Gebirtig, uh, Mordechai Gebirtig, who lived in Krakow in Poland and died in 1941 because he was shot in the streets, which was probably better death than where he was headed for, I believe, which was Treblinka. Anyway, uh, this is, I think, a theatrical song. It's about a thief who's, uh, who comes from poverty and he's driven out to, to crime and he's... Uh, He's a kind of fancies himself as a Robin Hood, as he robs from the rich. Uh, he doesn't necessarily give to the poor, but he does rob from the rich. On a heim, minich ying geblieben, Sati night, mich a reis getrieben, Wenn ich ob noch kein dreizehn Jahr gehat, In der Fremd, weit von Mamas Eugen, Hat in Schmutz, Mich die Gast erzeugen, geworden ist von mir a Weiler Jad. Ich bin a Vreimel, der feigste Marwicke, a größer Kinsler, Arbeit leicht und sicher. Das erste Mal, wenn es gedenken ist und heut, hat ein Entwieser vor Lachen a Breit bei Ich euch marken wie jene proste Jacken, sieb nur bei karge, schmutzige Magnaten, bin sich mich heie, wenn ich Papa sei Magnat. Ich bin a Bremer, gur a Weiner, ja. In 
der Fremd nicht gehabt zum Leben. Wir bitten Bräut an Orma Fleck noch geben, und jene Leid, wo Sinn und Tommy satt, Flecken oft treiben mich mit Zungen. Box der Kampf, so ist mir Kuhim geworden. Ah, Ganef bin ich nur a Weiler Jatt. Ich bin na Reimel, der feigste Marwicha. A größer Kinsler, Karbet leicht und sicher. A Jatt, a kleiner, rein im Kutschement. A Reis, a Masik, a seltener Talent. Hey, ich will mich euch marken, wie jene Proste Jacken. Zit nur bei Kage, schmutzige Magnaten. Kommt lieber Mensch, am milden Anna Sprat. Ich bin am Bremer, Gur, auf meiner Jahr. Scheinig lang wird das Spiel gedeuen. Krank von Klepp, Gift von Twiss am Mäuern. Nur ein Bechorschech, wollt das euch gewollt. Noch mein Teut in a Tog ertrieben. Soll euch mein Mercedes stehen. Geschrieben mit Äusjes, Größe und von Gold. Da liegt der Vremel, der feigste Marwicha. Am Mensch ein Größer, gewendet von ihm sicher. Am Mensch ein Feiner, mit Herz, mit der Gefühl. Am Mensch ein Reiner, wie Gott allein nur will. Oi, oi, lieber ihm, wollt gewacht am Mames Eugen. Wenn's von die finstere Gas ihn nicht erzeugen, wenn nicht als Kind er Attacken wohl gehabt, wo liegt auf Reimer jener Feuler Jagd. Hey Simon! Right. Great style of music that, uh, and uh, yeah, let's hope we hear more of it as you, your um, Yiddish improves, Simon. <laughs> oh, no, it sounded pretty good uh, as things stand, not that I would know, but and anyway. Okay, time now for Kate, and let's see. Oh, I think Kate will finish off the first half, actually, and then we'll have parish notices in a short break. So over to you, Kate. H Hello, can you hear me? Certainly can. Good. Um... Well, that was that was fantastic. I don't know if I should really be following Simon at all. But uh, anyway, this is a song relatively appropriate for this time of year. Um, and it comes from East Anglia, and I got it from Frankie Armstrong, say no more. So... Um... <laughs> It's of a brisk young farmer who kept sheep all on the hill. And he went out on the May morning to see what he could kill. Oh, hail the dewy morning, the one he went I ho. Clear away the morning view, how sweet the wings do blow. Oh, he gazed high and he gazed low, he gave an under look, and there he spied a fair pretty maid swimming in the brook. Oh, hail the dewy morning, blow on your wings, I ho. Clear away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. It's fitter for young maidens to be sewing a silken seam than it is to be out on a May morning swimming against the stream. Oh, hail the dewy morning, the one you went I ho. Clear away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. It's fitter for young farmers to be minding their business at home than it is to be out on the May morning watching young women swim. All oh, hail the dewy morning, no on you in tie home. Clear away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. Oh, 
Oh, do not touch my mantle. Oh, leave my gown alone. But can you fetch me out of the water to my father's home? Oh, hail the dewy morning, the one you enter home. Clear away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. They rode along together till they came to some boots of hay. Says he, it's a pretty place for you and I to play. Oh, hey, on the dewy morning, go on, you entire home. Clear away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. But when we get to me father's house, it's there you can lie me down and take away me maiden head. And likewise fifty pounds Oh, hail the dewy morning The one you went so home Dear away the morning dew How sweet the winds blew blow But when they got to her father's house She quickly locks him out Says she, young man, I'm a maid within And you're a fool without Oh, hail the dewy morning the one you went home Clear away the morning dew How sweet the winds do blow There's a cock in my father's yard And he never tread a hen He struts about and he flutters his wings And I think you're just the same Oh, hail the dewy morning The one you went home Clear away the morning dew How sweet the winds to blow. Mm -hmm. Nicely done, Kate. Thanks for that, and uh, a good a good end to the first half. Um, expecting lots more fantastic songs in the second half. But before that, it is time for parish notices. Go. Okay. Well, um, another Mayday song from another obscure part of England, or Cambridgeshire. It's a Cambridge May Carol. Arise, arise, you pretty fair maids, and take your May bush in, for if it is gone before tomorrow morn. You will say we have brought you none. Are the hedges and the trees are growing so green, as green as grass can be? Our heavenly Father watereth them with his heavenly dew so sweet. I have got a little purse in my pocket, it's tied with a silken string. And all that it lacks is a little of your gold To line it well within Oh, the clock strikes one It's time we were gone We can no longer stay So please to remember our money, money box And God send you a joyful May Short but sweet Lovely. Thanks, Paddy, but uh, um, good song, but we're not paying you a penny. Um, anyway, <laughs> okay, uh, Tom, it's over to you, and you are not alone ag again, I see, so welcome. I'm really sorry, is it Joe? Joe, yeah. Yeah, okay, Tom and Joe, and um, after Tom and Joe, could we have Gwyneth, please? Um, those of you who have been in London have no probably noticed this rotten wind and rain which has caused us to sing this song. There were two sisters walking down by a stream The younger one in Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain 
She pushed her into the river to drown Oh, the wind and the rain Watched her as she floated down Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain And she floated on down to the old mill pond Oh, the wind and the rain She floated on down to the old mill pond Oh the dreadful wind and the rain And the miller fished her out with his long bill hook Oh, the wind and the rain He brought that fair maid from the brook Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain And he laid her on the bank to dry And a fiddling fool came passing by Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain And he made his fiddle bow from her long yellow hair Oh, the wind and the rain He made his fiddle bow from her long yellow hair Oh, the dreadful Fiddle fence from the long finger bones. Oh, the wind and the rain. He made his fiddle fence from the long finger bones. Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain. And he made his fiddle from her own breastbone. Sound would melt a heart of stone, oh, the dreadful wind and the rain. And the only tune that the fiddle would play was, oh, the wind and the rain. The only tune that the fiddle would play was, oh, the dreadful wind. That was so lovely. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, really glad you found us uh, after all this time. So uh, great to hear that, uh, Tom and Joe. Thank you. Okay, it is time now for Gwyneth. And after Gwyneth, could we hear from Dave Harbord? Also, just to say it's a quiet evening this evening, which means there will be, unless everybody does a massive long ballad, um, then there will be time for some extra songs this evening. So if anyone has not yet put their hand up, please do so. And if you have already sung, it, chuck your hat in the ring and or put your hand in the ring, throw down the gauntlet. I don't know. Shut up, Amanda. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we, a few people will have a chance to sing again. OK, over to you, Gwyneth. Hi, I'm going to sing The Devil and the Ploughman. Now it's the version from Penguin Book of English Folk Songs, but I have changed it because it wants whistling in the middle and my whistling isn't really up to scratch. So I've just put some falderels in the middle instead. <coughs> there, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> There was an old farmer in Sussex to dwell, fell tea, fell tie, fell tiddly eyed all day, and he'd a bad wife, as many knew well, to me fell a little all day. 
you see that was a the devil he came to the old man at plough fell de fell die fell diddly i do day saying one of your family i must have now jimmy fell a little all day now it isn't for you nor yet for your son fell de fell die fell diddly i do day but that scolding old wife that you've got at home jimmy fell a little all day Oh, take her, oh, take her with all of my heart. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddy, I do day. And I wish she and you may never more part. To me, fell der a little or day. So devil, he took the old wife on his back. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddy, I do day. And lugged her along like a peddler's pack. To me, fell der a little or day. He trudged along till he reached his front gate. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddly I do day. Says he had taken an old Sussex chap's mate to me, fell der a little or day. There, <coughs> there was thirteen imps all a dancing in chains. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddly I do day. She up with her patterns and beat out their brains. To me, fell der a little or day. Two more little devils jumped over the wall. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddly I do day. Saying, turn her out, father, you'll, she'll murder us all. To me, fell der a little or day. So he bundled her up on this back, amen. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddly I do day. And to her old husband he took her again. To me fell der a little or day. I've been a tormentor the whole of my life. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddly I do day. But I was not tormented till I met your wife. To me fell der a little or day. And now to conclude and make an end. Fell dee, fell die, fell diddly I do day. You see that the women is worse than the men. If they get sent to hell, they get kicked back again. To me fell der a little or day. Fell der a little or day. Thank you. Good to have you back singing, Gwyneth. Thanks for that. Thank you. And um, Dave Harbord is next, and then Mary Hogan. I see a few people have put hands up for second songs, but um, we could possibly do with a few more. So um, fire away if you want to. Um, okay, um, so Dave and then Mary. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this song is um, from Helston Furry Festival or, or Flory, Floral Festival, whatever it is. Anyway, it seems to be some people say furry, some people say floral. But anyway, this is a song from that. Um, it's also one of the songs we've had several this evening um, enjoying the, the end of the winter and you know, the start of the new summer, but it's not yet, I know, but anyway, this is one of them. Take no scorn to wear the horn, it was the crest when you were born, your father's father wore it, and your father wore it too. Alanto, jolly rum and we were up long before the day, young, to welcome in the summer. To welcome in the May, oh, for summer is a coming in and winter's gone away, oh. Robin Hood and Little John have both come to the fair, oh, and we were to the merry green wood to hunt the buck and hare, oh, Alan, so jolly rum and oh, we were up. Long before the day, oh, to welcome in the summer, to welcome in the May, oh. For summer is a-coming in, and winter's gone away, oh. 
What happened to the Spaniards that made so great a boast, though? Well, they shall eat the feather goose, and we shall eat the roast, though. How long so? Jolly rum alone. We were up long before the day, oh, to welcome in the summer, to welcome in the May, oh. The summer is a coming in, and winter's gone away, oh. God bless our Mary Moses, in all the power and might, oh. May she bring his peace to England, sing peace be day and might, oh. Our so jolly rum we were up long before the May, oh day, oh shut up baby, to welcome in the summer, to welcome in the May, oh, the summer is a coming in and winter's gone away, oh. I must have sung it a thousand times, I still <laughs> bugger the words, oh, anyway. <laughs> That was great, Dave. Right, thank you. Thanks, Dave. Um, one we were missing from uh, the evening, obviously, so uh, thanks for bringing that. And I think I spotted at least two people from whose reaction uh, I, I think that suggests they were plan planning to sing it themselves. So sorry, David and Chris, but um, you'll, you'll have to try something else. Um, maybe I've re read that wrong, but anyway. Um, OK, over now to Mary Hogan. And after Mary, it will be time for Ray McLaughlin. Are you there, Mary? Can't hear you if you are. Mary Hogan, come in. Can anyone see? Oh no, she's gone. We no longer have Mary Hogan, which is a shame. Um, so it, therefore it's time for Ray. And after Ray, could we hear from Charlotte Oliver, please? All right, um, short song. Uh, I'll just sing it anyway. I think most people will know something about the song anyway. <clears throat> Far and wide as the eye can wander, heat and bog are everywhere. Not a bird sings out to cheer us. Oaks are standing gaunt and bare. We are the peat bog soldiers marching with our spades to the moor. Up and down the guards are pacing. No one, no one can get through. Flight would mean a sure dead facing. Guns and barbed wire greet our view. We are the peat bog soldiers marching with our spades to the moon. But for us, there is no complaining. Winter will in time be past. Then one day we will cry rejoicing. Homeland, dear, you're mine at last. Then will the peat bog soldiers march no more with their spades to the moor. Then will the peat bog soldiers March no more with their spades to the moon. Thank you, Ray. Always good to hear that song. Always good to hear you sing. 
Okay, um, it is time now for Charlotte. And Charlotte, I, I think you were indicating that you are new here. If you are welcome, I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm so boggled by, by the number of uh, people and screens that I've seen over the last <laughs> year. <I'm, laughs> um, if you uh, have sung here before, please uh, don't be offended that I don't recognize you. I barely recognize anyone these days. So <laughs> anyway, Charlotte, welcome. And after Charlotte, let's hear from Paul Carter, please. Okay. Um, yes, I'm joined by Spong. No, we haven't sung here before. Um, this is a song about, uh, well, it's called Moon Names. And before the Romans came and gave us January, February, etc., we had our own beautiful pagan names for the moon. Um, and that's what this is about. <laughs> January, the quiet moon Smiles on the apple howlers as they amble home February in the iceman gleams Shining on ghost white fields and frozen streams The wind moon hides behind the cloud and stone Charmed by the midnight antics of the mad march head. Moon wax, no way. Watching the seasons turn around again. Sunset, moonrise. Forever sailing through the midnight skies. April, the growing moon looks down and sees Midnight and moonlight pewter leaves on pewter trees May, when the green moon spies his old ass friend Dancing another pet's dog may day to its end and the moon breathes deep for the evening Jasmine and honeysuckle sent the starlight hours. Moon wax, moon wing, watching the seasons turn around again. Sunset, moon rise, forever sailing through the midnight skies. The mead moon shines her light all through July. Drowsy bees dream of honey under summer skies. August when farmhands curse the corn moon's light. For they must work the fields far, far into the night. September and the barley moon is here, singing the harvest in with cider, ale and beer. Moon wax, moon wane, watching the seasons turn around again. Sunset, moon rise, forever sailing through the midnight skies. October when the hunter's moon hangs low, black thoughts a silhouette against its scarlet glow. November when the pale grey moon looks down, flames rise, explosions echo all round Lewistown. Deep in December, the old moon appears. Lighting a silver pathway to another year. Moon wax, moon wave, watching the seasons turn around again. Sunset, moon rise, forever sailing through the midnight sky.
Thank you very much. Great to hear you both. Uh, thanks for bringing that and hoping to see you again. OK, um, over now to Paul Carter. And after Paul, can we have Tom Reid? Right. So, well, there's a sense in which this is my second song, isn't it? Because Tara kindly put me <laughs> on earlier. Yeah. Um, right. Anyone who remembers Pentangle, which is everyone, will know this. <clears throat> When I was in my prime, I flourished like a vine. There came along a false young man, come stole the heart of mine. Come stole the heart of mine. The gardener standing by, three offers to me. The pink, the violet, and red rose, which I refused all three which i refused all three the pain's no flower at all for it fades away too soon the violet is too pale a hue, I think I'll wait till June, I think I'll wait till June, in June the red rose blooms. That's not the flower for me, for I pluck up the red rose bud and plant a willow tree and plant a willow tree. And the willow tree shall weep, and the willow tree shall twine. I wish I was in that young man's arms that stole the heart of mine. That stole the heart of mine. If I am spared for one year more, and God should grant me grace, I weep a bowl of crystal tears and wash his deceitful face and wash his deceitful face great pal thank, thank you, you. Pal. oh Lovely stuff, Paul, and uh, plenty of uh, supportive messages in the chat for you to read at your leisure. Um, OK, over now to Tom. And after Tom, let's hear from Deirdre. <clears throat> so, man, I got cut off in my prime last week, so let's hope it doesn't happen again. OK, brand new song making its debut at Sharks. Young man, come gathering down by the quay. 
Don't cry, Mary. Don't cry. At the turn of the tide, they'll be over the sea. Don't cry, Mary. Don't cry. Don't cry, Mary. We'll lead them the dance and we'll sing Tipperary as we march through France. What a light Never say die. Don't cry, Mary. Don't cry. Oh, my sweetheart, I miss you. Each day we're apart. Don't cry, Mary. Don't cry. Your letters all hold such a place in my heart. Don't cry, Mary, don't cry. Don't cry, Mary, we'll surely prevail. We'll meet and defeat them. In all passion day Won't you blow me a kiss As I come marching by Don't cry, Mary Don't cry Go to sleep now, my darling there's nothing to fear. Don't cry, little baby. Don't cry. For you know that your mommy will always be here. Don't cry, little baby. Don't cry. Don't cry, little baby, for we must be strong. Since your poor soldier daddy was lost on the sun. Oh, but somehow without him we'll have to get by. Don't cry, little baby, don't cry. Don't cry, little baby, for we must be strong. Since your poor soldier daddy was lost on the sun. Oh, but somehow without him we'll have to get by don't cry little baby don't cry beautiful song oh, oh good Thanks, Tom. And as Deirdre wipes a tear from her eye to start her song, um, <laughs> I would like also to call David Diamond to sing after Deirdre. Over to you now, Deirdre. Oh, hell, go after Tom. I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. One morning, one, one morning, one more. One morning, one morning, one morning. Oh, I'm going to forget the tune because I was listening to Tom. Let's see. Hang on a second. One morning, one morning. I heard a finger. 
One morning, one morning, one morning in May, I heard a married man to a young girl say, Rise up, pretty Katie, and come go with me to cross. I've got to go, Laura. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Tom, I'm never going to follow Tom again. <laughs> one, morning, one morning, one morning, one morning in May, I heard a married man to a young girl say, Rise up, pretty Katie, and come go with me to cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny. I'll buy you a horse, love, and a saddle to ride. And I'll buy another to ride by your side. We'll stop at every tavern whenever we're dry. We'll cross the blue mountains, my Katie and I. Then up spoke her mother, and angry was she then. Daughter, oh daughter, he is a married man. There are plenty mother men more handsome than he. Oh, let him take his own wife to the Allegheny. Oh, mother, oh, mother, he's the man of my heart. And wouldn't it be a terrible thing if we had to part? I'd envy every woman that ever I see. Cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny. The last time I saw them, they were saddled to ride. And there was pretty Katie right by her, his side. They were laughing and singing, so happy to be free to cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny. They left before daybreak on a buckskin and roam, rode through tall serene pine trees where the mockingbirds moan, past our cabin windows where the eyes do not see to cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny. <laughs> really good. Well done, David. It was lovely. Great stuff to hear, Dre. After a couple of short, a uh, couple of false starts there, you did it proud. Okay, um, I'm going to put you on after Tom every time just to give you a practice. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Um, over now to David Diamond, and then could we hear from Chris Lamb? Uh, yeah. Okay. You can put me on after Tom, because I don't need no stinking tune. <laughs> so, uh, this. I, I hereby qualify what I'm going to sing as a folk song. Uh, although nobody dies, there's no sex. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's been around since, I guess, the 50s of last century. And uh, it applies to at least one person who's attending now here uh, in the sense that they're having, they have the workmen in. Twas on a Monday morning the gas man came to call. The gas tap wouldn't turn. <laughs> I was right about not needing a tune, wasn't I? Sorry. Twas on a Monday morning the gas man came to call. 
The gas tap wouldn't turn, we weren't getting gas at all. He tore out all the skirting boards to try and find the main. And we had to call the carpenter to put them back again. And it all makes work for the working man to do. Twas on a Tuesday morning the carpenter came round. He hammered and he chiselled and he said, Look what I've found. Your joists are full of dry rot. I'll soon put that to rights. Then he nailed right through a cable and out went all the lights and it all makes work for the working man to do. Twas on a Wednesday morning the electrician came. He called me Mr. Sanderson which isn't quite me name. He couldn't reach the fuse box without standing on the bin. And his foot went through a window and we called the glazier in. And it all makes work for the working man to do. Twas Oh, what have I been heard? oh yes, it was on a Thursday morning. The glazier came on with his blowtorch and his putty and his merry glazier song. He put another pane in. It took no time at all. And we had to call the painter in to come and paint the wall and it all makes work for the working man to do. Twas on a Friday morning, the painter made a start, with undercoat and overcoat, he painted every part, every nook and every cranny, but we found when he was gone, he painted over the gas tap, we couldn't turn it on, and it all makes work for the working man to do. On Saturday and Sunday, they do no work at all. It was on the Monday morning when the gas man came to call. Hardly true to life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, David. Okay, over to Chris Lamb now. Chris, I have a suspicion you were going to do Hal and Toe, and now you're going to do something else. Um, looking forward to it. And after Chris, let's have another one from David Kidman for his services on in muting and other things. Okay, you guessed right, Amanda. This is my second choice, but it's another classic um, May Day song, um, one of the best known ones. I hadn't sung it before, and um, it's not. I'm not, not going to sing the, the the whole of the song, but these are some of the verses from it. Uh, it's the Padstow May song. Unite and unite and let us all unite For summer is a coming today And whither we are going We all will unite in the merry morning of May The young men of Padstow they might if they would for summer is a coming today. They might have built a ship and gilded it with gold in the merry morning of May. The young women of Padstow, they might if they would. For summer is a coming today. They might have built a garland with the white rose and the red in the merry morning of May. 
Arise up, Mrs. Johnson, all in your gown of green, for summer is a coming today. You are as fine a lady as waits upon the queen in the merry morning of May. Oh, where are the young men that here now should dance? For summer is a coming today. Some they are in England and some they are in France in the merry morning of May. And where are the maidens that here now should sing? For summer is a coming today. They are, they are in the meadows, the flowers gathering in the merry morning of May. Unite and unite, and let us all unite, for summer is a coming today. And whither we are going, we all will unite in the merry morning of May. Thank you, Chris. Um, I hate to tell you, but we've had one very, very similar to that already this evening, but I think you missed it. And apparently uh, I have checked with the singer and you did a different verse. So it's all absolutely fine and good to hear it anyway. Um, <laughs> okay. I, did, I did ask someone before uh, I, I was there's, sing about Helen, Helen Toe there's, and I didn't ask about that one. No, it, it's, it's unavoidable at this time of year. Um, OK, over now to David Kidman. Um, and after David, let's have another from Paddy Hannan. Whoa. Right, well, I promise you no May songs. Um, you're not going to believe that I was going to sing The Gas Man Cometh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> right. This is nothing like any of those. Uh, song by Jackson C. Frank from the 60s. Catch a boat to England, baby, maybe to Spain, wherever I have gone, wherever I've been and gone. Wherever I have gone, the blues are all the same. Send out for whiskey, baby, send out for gin. Meander room service, honey, me and room service, babe. Meander room service. Well, we're living a life of sin. And when I'm not drinking, baby, you're on my mind. And when I'm not sleeping, honey, when I ain't sleeping, mama, when I'm not sleeping, well, you know, you'll find me crying. So try another city, baby. Try another town. And wherever I have gone, wherever I have been and gone, Wherever I have gone, the blues come following down. For living is a gamble, baby. Loving's much the same. And wherever I have played, wherever I throw them down. Wherever I have played, the blues have run the game. 
So maybe tomorrow, honey, some place down the line, I'll wake up older now. So much older, mama, I'll wake up older, and I'll just stop, stop all my trying. So catch a boat to England, baby, maybe to Spain. And wherever I have gone, wherever I've been and gone, wherever I have gone, the blues are all the same. Thank you very much indeed, David. Uh, good to hear that one again. Um, it's now time for Paddy Hannan. And after Paddy, let's have Ruri Grieg. Okay. Um, I'll sing the Home Firth Anthem. Uh, Home Firth is a, a village up in the Pennines, uh, just above Sheffield somewhere. Apparently the tune is called the Home Firth Anthem because the people there like singing it. Who knows? Abroad for pleasure as I went a walking on one summer summer's evening clear. Abroad for pleasure as I went a walking on one summer summer's evening clear. There I beheld the most beautiful damsel lamenting for her shepherd swain, lamenting for her shepherd swain. The fairest evening that e'er I beheld me evermore with the lass I adore. The fairest evening that e'er I beheld me evermore with the lass I adore. Wilt thou go fighten the French and Spaniards? Wilt thou leave me thus, my dear? Wilt thou leave me thus, my dear? No more to yonder green banks will I take thee with pleasure for to rest myself and view the land. No more to yonder green banks will I take me with pleasure for to rest myself and view the lambs. But I will take thee to yon green garden where the pretty flowers grow. Where the pretty, pretty flowers grow. Don't put something. Thanks, Paddy. I haven't heard that for ages, and uh, it's good. Um, uh, yeah, your first song was uh, very short, so um, good to hear more of you this evening. Okay, time now for Ruri, followed by Elizabeth Block, neither of whom have sung yet this evening, but um, you are now on. So, Ruri first. Uh, anybody sung The Spotted Cow yet? Right, okay, well... This is a, a Lincolnshire version. Uh, Joseph Taylor, the famous Lincolnshire singer, was famous for not remembering words. So, but he had a fine tune to this version and uh, the words are from a broadside version. One morning in the month of May as from my court I strayed just at the dawning of the day, I met a charming maid. I met a charming maid. 
Good morn, fair maiden, whither said I so early, tell me now. Kind sir's maid replied, kind sir, she sighed, I've lost my spotted cow. I've lost my spotted cow. No longer mourn, no more complain, your cow's not lost, my dear. I saw her down in yonder grove, come love and I'll show you where. Come love and I'll show you where. I must confess you're very kind, I thank you, sir, said she. I am sure her there we'll find, come sweetheart, go with me. Come sweetheart, go with me. And so we cross that flowery vale, and love was all our tale. We kissed and hugged each other then, yes, love was all our tale. Yes, love was all our tale. We spent that day in sweet content, and thought it passed too soon. And then homeward then we made our way, while brightly shone the moon, while brightly shone the moon. And now if I go to view the plough, she cut, uh, now if I go and cross the vale, and go to view the plough, she comes and calls me, gentle swain, I've lost me spotted cow. I've lost my spotted cow. Nicely done, Ruri. Um, yeah, uh, yes, excellent stuff. Okay, over now to Elizabeth Block. And after Elizabeth, could we have Steve Suffet, please? I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger Traveling through this world of greed where some have nothing, they starve and stumble, while others hoard more than they need. I'm going home to help my neighbor. I'm going back to do my part. Love depends on peace and justice. Peace begins in my own heart. Storm clouds may all around us gather and turn bright day to darkest night. With courage we will walk together and find our way back to the light. Are you a poor wayfaring stranger? Lost in this world you're traveling through to find a path do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. I'm going home to help my neighbor. I'm 
going back to do my part. Love depends on peace and justice. Peace begins in my own heart. Words by Dan Berggren. Very good. Oh, very nice. Very familiar tune um, with uh, very welcome new words. So, yeah, well done, Dan. Um, OK, it's time now for Steve Suffit. And I've spotted a couple of um, people who normally sing but haven't put their hands up yet. So um, if you would like to, please do. But uh, um, otherwise, uh, I'll call somebody else who's sung already. Um, anyway, over. Sorry. Okay. That's not that's not helping actually, is it? Because nobody knows who's uh, singing after Steve. Um, in that case, it's <laughs> ah, I'm messing this up. Okay, it's going to be Steve, and then it's going to be Dave Harbord, please, and then we'll see. Okay. Staggerly was a bad man. Everybody knows. Spent a hundred dollars just to buy a suit of clothes. He was a bad man. His name was Staggerly. Very different from what Elizabeth sang. Staggerly shot bitter lines. What do you think about that? Shot him down in cold blood cause he stole his stets and had he was a bad man. His name was Staggerly. Now Billy's wife come running, fell down on her knees. Oh, Mr. Badman Staggerly, don't kill my husband, please. You are a bad man. Your name is Staggerly. Now what I care, said Staggerly, if you are Billy's wife, who went and stole my Stetson hat, I'm going to take his life. I am a bad man. My name is Staggerly. Now the sheriff says to his deputy bosses, Come here, deputy. I want you to take my six gun and go capture Staggerly. He is a bad man. His name is Staggerly. Deputy said to the sheriff, So put the gun back on the shelf. If you want to get Staggerly, you got to do that by yourself. He is a bad man. His name is Staggerly. Well, they sent for the militia. Whole damn army come. Finally capture Staggerly with a great big Gatlin' gun. He is a bad man. His name is Staggerly. Now the judge said, Staggerly, Mr. Badman Staggerly, gonna hang your body high, gonna set your spirit free, you are a bad man. Your name is Staggerly. Ten o'clock they hanged him on the gallows high. Last words that I heard him say were, my six gun don't lie, I am a bad man. My name is Staggerly. Now Staggerly said the devil, let's have a little fun. Go jam me with that pitchfork, boy, I shoot you with my gun. I am a bad man. My name is Staggerly. Staggerly says the devil, boy, put the pitchfork on the shelf. I mean old Mr. Staggerly, I'm gonna rule hell by myself, I am a bad man. My name is Staggerly. Staggerly, traditional African American. My favorite Staggerly song, I think. I've never heard it before. 
<laughs> there are quite a few of them. I know about four or five different versions. <laughs> Done with gusto, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Dave Harbord, and after Dave, could we have Tom Poslett, please? Right, as it's late in the evening, this is the song that I've been choking on your cocoa. It was written by the same man who wrote Teddy Bear's Picnic. They're moving Grandpa's grave to build a sewer. They're moving it regardless of expense. They're moving Grandpa's grave to put in nine-inch drains to irrigate some posh bloke's residence. Now, what's the use of having a religion if when you die your troubles never cease? Just because some eyeball crank wants a pipeline to his tank, they'll never let a British workman rest in peace. But Grandpa in his life was ne'er a quitter, and I don't suppose he'd be a quitter now. In his white winding sheet, he'll haunt that privy seat, and he'll only let him go when he'll allow. And won't there be some bleeding constipation? And won't those city gents both rant and rave? But it's no more than they deserve for having a bleeding nerve to desecrate a British workman's grave. A workman's Thank you. Fun stuff, Dave, and a great ending. And a song with constipation in it. It's, it's got everything, really, hasn't it? Okay. <laughs> Over now to Tom Poslett. Um, I think we will just have time for one from Ray after him and then Martin Nail to close the session. I think that's how we'll run. Okie dokie, over to you, Tom. Possibly Tom and Joe. Or possibly neither of you if you've left already. Cannot hear you, Tom. Okay. I think... Aha! This is a song called Cupid's Garden. Down to Cupid's Garden For pleasure I did go To see the fairest flowers That in the garden grow First a gentle jasmine Her fingers ghostly white to stroke the evening breezes To scent the summer's night But her charms are all too slight Deeper in the garden the bowers overgrown In petticoats of pink I spied the scrambling rose her promise of good company would brighten any dawn. Her arms around me tighten, her breath is sweet and warm. As she hides her cruel thorns. But in the morning, her smile is frayed, her cloak is torn. Her colours fade And I am drawn Back to the shade The bright cascade Of Cupid's garden Midday in the garden And lovely iris sways 
face towards the sun, her feet in the shade. She casts her yellow eye over a tangle of weeds that fight in Cupid's garden to shed their wanton seed. All for the price of pleasure's greed. Pollen laden haze of a late afternoon, and all have come to gaze at fair lily's bloom. Her radiance is raised from tears wept by Eve that rain on Cupid's garden to soak her hungry leaves. Until all trace of desire recedes And in the evening Her cool returned Her grace retrieved Her lovers spurned I take my leave But shall return To take my leave From Cupid's garden Nice stuff, Tom. Thanks for that. Um, okay, time now for Ray McLaughlin. And after Ray, Martin Nail, it will be up to you to close the evening. Thanks, Amanda. This is a, a Norwich American song from uh, Philadelphia. And it's a sure if the news be true, the star bill's the first thing I'll pay. A soft parlour suite for the lounge I will buy And an organ for Bridgie, hooray! My calico shirt I will throw in the dirt In a silk one won't I cut a shine And the very first chance we'll put Seamus in pants When the breakers go back on full time And our troubles are our Mrs Murphy the Dutchman next door tells me straight that the mines go back full time on Monday. That's what he tells me at any rate. Sure, the boss he told Michael this morning when he was just entering the mine that the coal is quite scarce around Philly. So the breakers go back on full time and it's a sure if the news be true. The store bill's the first thing I'll pay. A soft parlour suite for the lounge I will buy and an organ for Bridgie, hooray. Me calico shirt I will throw in the dirt in me silk one won't I cut a shine. And the very first chance we'll put Seamus in pants when the breakers go back on full time and I'll ne'er stick me fist in the wash tub For the Chinaman he'll get me trade Or we'll ne'er pick the coal off the slate bank And we'll buy everything ready made Or we'll dress up our children like fairies And we'll dig, uh, build a big house grand and fine And we'll move right away from the round heads when the breakers go back on full time and it's a sure if the news be true the store bills the first thing i'll pay a soft parlor suite for the lounge i will buy and an organ for bridgie hooray on me calico shirt i will throw in the dirt in me silk one won't i could a shine and the very first chance we'll put Seamus in pants 
when the breakers go back on full time. Cracking song, Ray. Thanks for that. And now it is time to close the evening. Uh, Martin, you may go beyond 11, although I know it is anathema to you to do so. But nevertheless, um, you're going to have to, I think. Um, before Martin sings, just a big thank you to everyone for being here, here this evening. Great songs, great playing, um, great crack and uh, looking forward to next time. So, Martin, over to you. Thank you, Amanda. You're welcome. Come all you maidens young and fair, not now all blooming in your prime. I that's to be aware and to keep your gardens fair. And let no man steal away your bonny time. For time, it is a precious thing. Time brings all things to your mind. Time with all its labours, along with all its joys. All oh, time brings all things to an end. Oh, once I had a bunch of time. I thought it never would decay Until a saucy fiddler He chanced to pass my way And he stole away my bonny bunch of time for time, it is a precious thing. Time brings all things to an end. Time with all its labours, along with all its joy. Oh, time brings all things to an end. The fiddler played to me a tune, a tune that never would decay. He played me a tune to keep me well minded of the night. He stole my precious time away. For time, it is a precious thing. Time brings all things to your mind. Time with all its labours, along with all its joys. All time brings all things to an end. Time brings all things to an end. end. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Very suitable. Very suitable. Great song. It certainly Great. does, Martin. That's it. It's over. For, I forgot to say thanks to, to David Kidman on the mute button and the indexing. Um, but thank you, David. And um, have a great week. And see you all soon, I hope. Thank Bye you. for now. Good night, everyone. Hi all. Good night. Thanks everybody. Mm -hmm.